Now, Wendy is having winners, she's having places, she's having a great run into 2020. And here she did uh, give this filly a mention. If you listen in carefully to an interview after winning earlier on today, she said uh, uh, this filly included on all bets and she was spot on with her comments. Well done to Jeff Perkins. I see Mr. Christian uh, Sin and uh, Michael Cinema as well, who's on course. Well done, Wendy. Great day. Awesome so far, Dees. Uh, we've got one in the last race, and hopefully we can do a treble with her, but um, that's, you know, if it, it's just bonus if she does. Eh? Um, I just want to say very well done to, to Jeff, um, two winners on the day so far. Uh, well done to, to Mark uh, uh, Christensen sitting at home and, and to Michael and his family being here today. That was owner Shen that was hard to play with, with, my, with uh, Jeff. Um, but this filly has come through her race today so nicely today. You know, she's a half-sister to that horse, Tales of Bravery. It was a proper sprint horse. Sure. And it's amazing that she actually goes the, the distance being by curveball. But um, uh, well done to Bruce LaRue. He's, you know, she's going to go on to win a couple of races, this filly, as she gets older and starts to learn to race properly. The fact that she's staying 2,000 meters, uh, you know, you stretched her today and she seems to relish the extra as well. She does. As she's got on with her racing, she's actually relaxed so nicely in her race and she finds a finish. And, and you know, most horses, if they can have a bit of a finish, they can carry on going and, and going over the longer distances. I just want to say well done to Craig. He's ridden her twice and tw it's two from two for him. So well done to him here. I want to compliment you and I'll give you the reason why. After the interview of your first winner, what was the name of the Chatterton's? Chatterton's Keeper. Chatterton's Keeper. All the owners were at the gazebo enjoying a glass of champagne and juice and everything. And I went over just to congratulate them. And you know, I said, well done. And they said, what a person you are. They were full of compliments <laughs> okay. for you, Wendy. Thank you very much, Tease. <laughs> they they awesome. love racing with your team. You know, it's so nice to have new people involved in racing and, and to have horses like that come in, into their, their, uh, you know, the start of their racing career so early. And it's, it's, it gets people involved in horses. And he's a fun horse. So I think he's going to be awesome for them. All the best later on. Fingers crossed for the last. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's two for Wendy thus far. Craig Zaki doing duty. And uh, as Wendy mentioned, unbelievable. You get a jockey, you put him on, he wins. Two from two on this uh, filly. And uh, that's a healthy strike rate you got on her. Yeah, lovely strike rate. These, um, you know, when the maiden was quite convincing. And I expected another win much sooner than this one from her. Uh, she really won well. And... Look, she, she was always a bit immature and a bit late compared to other horses and I'm just glad I got on her again today and timed it right. When it uh, came to the distance and you saw Wendy putting her over this trip, what were your thoughts? If I hadn't followed her runs, I'd be like, isn't it a bit too far, Wendy? Sure, sure. Because she won her 14 so well with me. But I've been following her ever since. I've sat next to her a few times in the race and she's become this laid-back, lengthy filly who actually gets a bit lethargic through the running of the race and only gets it put, starts to put it in the last furlong. So I didn't doubt the uh, 10 furlong after following a few of the starts and I just gave her every chance. Three more races left, anything you like? Yeah, i uh, like me to worry a bit. Um, he had a bad draw last time. He was a long way out of his ground and he came with a hell of a run and I had to switch from a horse coming in. Today with a, with a decent draw of two, he'll be close and I He's also as consistent as they can get. Uh, you can't not include him, so I'm relying on him to hopefully bring me back here. Thanks for that, Craig. And before you leave, I just want to you know, pick your brain a bit. It's a big weekend's racing on the South African racing calendar, Friday, Saturday, Lomarant, Clean Spade, Carnival. Uh, all systems go with regards to your mood and your horses? Yeah, everything's good. Um, I'm actually flying there tonight. I'd like to get a leg aboard body tomorrow. Hopefully it's his last prep. Uh, for Saturday, but um, all I can say is he's well, he's come on, and I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a very exciting race. Thanks for that, Craig. Congratulations, yeah. Thanks, Liz. Well done to Wendy. Great training feed today. Uh, two winners for us, a lovely way to start off the new year. To the connections, well done, and of course, my sponsors, Moritz von Tien and Thank you. Good one. Craig Zaki on the board, yeah. And then the winning groom is Tembem Kiso, getting his thousand rand from Sandile. Out Hollywood bets. Oh, sorry, Michael. I haven't forgot about you. Come through, Michael. Come through, Michael. Apologies, Tim Kizo. We can, you can be next. I don't Michael. Well, but you don't have to leave me out. Apologies. Right? I'm a train of thought. Is, you know, just get on with it. But congratulations, Michael, to yourself and your partners. No, ma magic, man. I'm very happy. Well done to the partners, Jeff, and my mate, uh, Mark Christensen. Really over the moon with this win because. Um, 
you know, she went totally all form. We came to Gravel the one night and we thought we'd lead her in and she finished stone cold last. But she's a bit of a, a flighty filly and she gets a bit above herself and all the rest of it. So Wendy said, no, don't worry. She had faith and uh, we had to believe in it. And yeah, we are back in the winner's enclosure. What a pleasure. She's versatile as well. 1,400, 1,600, 1,800, now 2,000. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Warren and them also, they said that yeah, give, it a, give her a bit of ground and uh, she should do well over the extra ground. And um, I must say they're 100% correct. Uh, and uh, well done to Bruce LaRue. He, uh, he bred the horse. Uh, five stars for him. And uh, yeah, let's just hope she goes on from here. Well, 2020 to yourself and your family. All the best with the many horses you own, Michael. Archie, uh, congratulations. Uh, magic yeah. and uh, well ridden to Craig Zaki. Right, right, an absolute cracker. Fantastic. Great. Okay, now let's get Tim Minkosi into the room and uh, Sandile giving him his 1,000 rand. The winning groom is Tim Minkosi, receiving it from Hollywood Bets office manager Sandile. Okay, that is a wrap of uh, race number five. You caught the quartet, eight, five, two, and four. And they're on their journey, and once again, American Princess, she said no. She gave away about two and a half length start, and at this stage, let's see where Arabiata is. Arabiata is about two lengths in front of American Princess. What a beauty came out skipping along, moving.